Alright, got everything all packed up here. I'm about three and a half hours away and I think I'm, think I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Alright, I borrowed my dad's car and loading up. Got all my things, got my homemade kombucha here, got some water, got some tunes. Let's see what kind of other music we got in here. Ooh, Beach Boys, that's pretty good. All right, we're getting close here. Almost to our site. I think the pull-off is up here. We've got some lizards taking advantage of the shade that we've provided with the footing for the solar. So just confirm the All right, getting ready with the next panel. Here we come with the next panel, ready to lay it in just above the, the other one. All right, so we each one of these modules is 265 watts, so I'll show you a picture of the uh, the back sheet which is a uh, down here so we've got uh, it's a Canadian solar 265 watt uh, solar panel we've got four of them so we're just over uh, one one kilowatt of power we're unspooling all the PV wire uh, to make sure that we cut it in the middle so we have two equal 50 foot lengths the connectors here one male one female will then tie in to the leads of each of the uh, panels one positive one negative and then we'll connect that to our charge controller and the inverter. All right, just showing up on this little dirt road here. Gotta be careful. And there is the yurt. That's where we're gonna be doing solar. All right. Look at that guy. There it is. Here's the yurt. Yep. Okay. Unloaded. Unloading the car. Hey guys. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here's the batteries. And we're going to install it right there. Okay. Got the box here in place. Got everything set up. I'm going to attach it into the deck here. And then we'll be good to go. So far, so good. So here we're combining two of the solar panels into one string. Yep. And then number three and four into another string. Yep. And then we're gonna use these, where are those combiners? We're gonna use these guys to combine, to combine those two strings into one. And then we have just two wires going back to the charge controller. Alright, so right, we finally got this guy mounted up. We're able to use some strut to mount that up to the base there. And the structure is also tied in here. These guys are just pulling the wire. I got a bunch of it in. Um, the only I guess challenges, I mean... No, I mean but then the, this would have fit in there too. Yeah. I'm not like an elephant truck. Hey! It's perfect! <laughs> what you heard was not true. <laughs> Sun's going down. Alright, we're just getting the last of the wire management in place. Pulling the TV wire. Concrete bases here up to a okay. pole and then kind of a custom solar, solar rail. Turn on, you can't hear. Turn Joe, turn it on! Can you go holler again? 
sure. Recording? So at long last in the year, we're now going to be able to power the vacuum cleaner with electricity. <laughs> Just waking up this morning. I had a good night's sleep in the RV down there. Um, wanted to do a little update about what we did yesterday. Um, we installed the battery box with uh, the inverter and charge controller. Got all the PV installed, but we didn't get enough PV wire. So the PV wire actually doesn't connect all the way back over to the box. So I can, what I'm gonna do now is just hook up the wire that we have kind of directly to the box to see if everything works. If it looks good, we'll come back another day and extend the wire so we can lay it inside and under the deck really nicely. Um, other than that, we used um, some armored cable for the AC side and connected that up underneath the deck, up by the front door, and there's like a breaker panel where they can turn everything on and off, which is pretty nice. And we tested out a vacuum yesterday, which, so it worked. Uh, the batteries had a pretty good state of charge, so we were able to um, actually test the system out. So right now, let's go see if the PV works, get the batteries charged up a little bit, and then check more in the AC loads. All right. So today we just hooked up the batteries. We don't have the wires it long enough. Um, so we're just gonna hook it directly up just to see if we can charge. And what I did is I have it all plugged in, but nothing on here shows that we're charging. So I just wanted to check that the PV is actually charging right now. Although the battery did just, or the charge controller now has a green light in the top before it was yellow and green. So maybe it is charging up. So I'm gonna use the clamp meter on the batteries and see how much we're charging. Cool, 4.3 on one battery. Now ideally, these would match. So this one hopefully is 4.3, 4.2, 4.3, pretty good. So let's do the math real quick. Um, 8.6 times 24. 200 watts right now. Pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see what the voltage is at. For 9 a.m., not bad. For 9 a.m., pretty good, right? 25% power. Actually, 26.4, so a little bit more, probably 250. Uh, we want to see about at least 800, 900 watts. That means all the panels are working um, at about noon. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so quick description of what we got here. We have four solar panels down there. Two in series, two in parallel. That's approximately 140 watts of solar PV. It's coming back over here into the charge controller and converting um, up to about 1,000, 1,100 watts um, and taking that voltage and bringing it down to 24 volts. Coming down into here. Um, this is actually the PV breaker, so I can turn the PV on and off. It goes in there, but then the 24 volts comes down into here and goes to the inverter and the batteries. Now the batteries are connected in parallel, and they're both 24 volts, so individually they'll charge up, and they'll get the same amount of current because the cables are the same. And then this inverter is 24 volts, and this is on the DC side, and the AC side is over here. There's some plugs here, and we also have this wired up into the house. 
this cabling here is like it's a really nice cable it's like an armored um, armored cable that has the the live neutral and ground and it's coming right out of the box coming up the side here and up and over there going up into the house where there's a breaker panel and that's generally it obviously got to fix these PV cables but other than that we're done So Ian came back and fixed the PV cables and we got everything plugged in ready to go. We got the fan going, we even have some cold beers in the fridge, pretty good. So thanks for watching, let me know if you have any other questions and please comment below. Uh, if you have any questions about solar, batteries or any other components, just bring them on. Uh, we're happy to help where we can. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you'd like to stay up to date on all other things off-grid solar, just join the Facebook group. We're called Off-Grid Solar. See the link below. Thanks.